going to take you through a complex congenital heart disease which has about 10 11 odd abnormalities in the fetal circulation and i have chosen this case just to uh, show you how to use a segmental sequential approach in making the diagnosis and reporting a patient with a complex congenital heart disease let's take it through and dive in I, I think it's a good idea to to subscribe uh, so that the moment I put another video you would be notified immediately. So according to the segmental sequential approach this patient had following findings and this patient uh, the fetus had situs inversus totalis. The pulmonary veins did drain into left atrium which was also on the right side normally it's on the left side because this is situs inversus totalis the left atrium and all those structures were on the right side this is something interesting what we found the juxtaposed uh, atrial appendages what is it all about just listen to the video watch it right through till the end so that you find such interesting things or findings in that case and horizontal atrial septum is a part and parcel of a juxtaposed atrial appendages uh, because there was a situs inversus the stomach was on the right side there was a levocardia there was an atrioventricular discordance because this patient had a common av canal defect and had a ventricular inversion that something what you get in congenitally corrected transposition of great arteries this patient also had ventricular arterial discordance in going in in the form of cctga the large vsd and there was a pulmonary atresia and there was a right sided aortic arch with left ductus uh, we should have expected uh, left sided uh, right sided aortic arch with the right ductus because of the situs inversus and there were bilateral superior venae cavas right so let's dive in continue watching till the end so that you watch each and every abnormality with a great detail begin with this now this is a <clears throat> cross section at the level of uh, stomach the scanning shows the stomach is on this side while there is a discordance the heart is on the other side but aorta is on on this side and ivc is on the other side so this goes kind of normal and if I show you this patient the stomach is on this side aorta stomach and umbilical vein this is goes in an anti-clockwise position the head in this patient was supposed to be on cranial side but the head was caudal so if the head was caudal which indicates that stomach is on the right side the side where the stomach is right side of the fetus according to our clockwise uh, method of assessing the fetus uh, situs so now the stomach is on the right side but you notice the heart is on the left side you also notice aorta is also on the right side ivc is on the left side so that means this is situs solitus inverse situs inversus totalis because this is the left atrium you see the pulmonary vein stomach on the right LA on the right with the pulmonary veins here aorta on the right makes this case as situs inversus totalis with levocardia heart on the left side which otherwise is supposed to be on the right side let us scan through the patient this is the scan from uh, abdominal scanning showing the stomach and then this is the stomach let me freeze it here take you through step by step and I'll try to explain each and every abnormality in this patient this is the stomach this side is the aorta and as you go uh, uh, higher cranially to the fetus you see the stomach arises uh, uh, the stomach was on this side the heart is on the left side 
and you would see this pulmonary vein draining into this atrium which is on the right side that is same as the side of the stomach so this is situs inversus totalis that entire situs is inversed that's what is a mirror image uh, dextrocardia or mirror image situs we call it situs inversus totalis the atrial situs also is inversus but there is levocardia now let's go to another slide and let me show you here now you notice the septum is horizontal what do i mean by horizontal septum you look at this interatrial septum the direction of interatrial septum is on this side while the interventricular septum is almost at 90 degree to the interatrial septum in a normal fetus or a normal child you would see the interatrial septum almost aligned with the interventricular septum here interatrial and interventricular septum are at right angle to each other see this also now this is the right atrium left atrium interatrial septum which is lying almost 90 degree or perpendicular to the interventricular septum normally it should be like this that is this should be aligned with each other you see the pulmonary vein draining into the left atrium you see this interatrial septum and then interventricular septum with a large ventricular septal a defect now this condition is generally whenever you have interatrial septum aligned almost perpendicular to the interventricular septum you must rule out a condition called juxtaposed atrial appendages it means that both atrial appendages are on one side either on the right side or on the left side you notice here this is i would again take you frame by frame now this is the left atrial appendage which is the large one and as we scroll forward you see this one the smaller appendage is the right atrial appendage showing the same case again let the video run and i would show you again by scrolling it gradually then you see this is the left atrial appendage if we scroll forward you see there would be yes right on the top this is the right atrial appendage so left atrial appendage on this still image and the right atrial appendage both appendages are lying this is what this is the right side of the fetus both the appendages are lying on the right side of the fetus or both the appendages are lying over left atrium remember left atrium was on the right side this is a, a pathological specimen uh, showing a right atrial appendage the left atrial appendage on the right side and this is the same left and right on the left side this being more common this is a diagrammatic representation showing that both atrial appendages are on either side of the of the arteries if they are one side of the artery they are the, the right side or could be on the left side they are called juxtaposed atrial appendages now let us see the pulmonary vein the next step is pulmonary vein after we see the atria you see this is the pulmonary vein and the pulmonary vein is opening into the atrium which is on the right side of the fetus so this is the left atrium lying on the right side of the fetus with the pulmonary vein draining into it now in this patient there was atrioventricular discordance now you see this is the left atrium this is the right side left atrium on the right side because it was situs inversus totalis the left atrium on the right side then you see the chamber it is connecting with is morphologically right ventricle 
so this is morphologically right ventricle this is morphologically left ventricle so left atrium is connected with the morphologically right ventricle which is a hallmark of atrioventricular discordance and this kind of thing happens in congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries apart from that we have to describe the av junction an av valve is a single av valve so this is a common av canal defect where you see the interventricular septal defect and the large common av valve again showing the same thing color doppler showing the right ventricle and the left ventricle the right ventricle is larger the flow in the right ventricle is more so this indicates a slight imbalance in the av canal defect you see the regurgitation right in the middle so this is a central regurgitation again a hallmark of common av canal defect this is the common av valve what you see now next step is once we in the segmental sequential approach the next step we have to see the arterial relations and arterial connections now see this is the left ventricle this is the right ventricle and you notice the large artery is coming out of the right ventricle and this large artery is aorta which arches forward up till here you can see a part of it being scanned let me show you uh, gradually on on this side and you see when we scroll forward you see this aorta is going right from the right ventricle arches cranially so this is aorta and this is lv and what you know, you see here is a large vsd which is an exit of the left ventricle so the aorta was arising from what right ventricle correct so now we did not see pulmonary artery coming out of any of the ventricles but on a three vessel trachea view this is slightly lower down view what where you see the aorta and the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery is filling retrogradely and branching into its two left and right pulmonary arteries you see the trachea lying right in the middle and this is forming a u so this is a trachea aorta the pulmonary artery this is a right sided this was the right side of the fit of the right sided aortic arch but the pulmonary for the ductus was left sided so right sided aortic arch with left ductus and there was a pulmonary atresia leading to the retrograde flow of the pulmonary artery from the ductus the last abnormality what we saw on this patient was a bilateral superior vena cava now this is the superior vena cava on the right side this is the left superior vena cava remember the aorta was on the right side of the trachea so this was the right aorta this is the svc this is the left persistent left svc so there were the bilateral svc is because of persistent left superior vena cava i hope this was interesting because using a segmental sequential approach i showed you this complex case and what the finding you are going to write in your written report the report would include that this fetus has situs inversus totalis this was not cycle situs ambiguous or heterotaxy this was situs inversus totalis this patient had the atrium on the right side which goes as the the situs inversus totalis is and the pulmonary veins were draining into the left atrium apart from that there was juxtaposed atrial appendage when we are describing the atria then you have to describe the position of the ventricle the heart was lying on the left side this is levocardia then after the atria you described the ventricle connections there was atrioventricular discordance left atrium was connected with morphologically right ventricle then there then you described the av valve there was a common av valve and there was a dominance of the left side which was present on the right side situs inversus slightly confusing 
there was a ventricular inversion so this was a patient with a ventricular inversion this was the d ventricular loop but we expected an l ventricular loop in situs inverses so d ventricular loop the ventricular were inverted then there was a ventricular arterial discordance you saw the aorta arising from the right ventricle the pa was not seen arising there was a large vsd the pulmonary artery was filling retrogradely from the ductus arteriosus so there was a pulmonary atresia we had we had a bilateral svcs and we had a right sided aortic arch with the left ductus i hope you enjoyed the case i have shown 10 cases or 10 findings in single case so you can watch it again uh, so that you don't miss anything what you've just learned but and i think it's a good idea to subscribe happy learning